My friends, walk around any grocery store. I don't care if it's Whole Foods, Walmart, Trader Joe's, there's a problem. There's sugar in everything. I'm not talking about natural sugar in products. I'm talking about added sugar, and it's almost always cane sugar, the white, bleached, processed, refined stuff. And that's a problem because we consume so much of it. The average American consumes at least 20 teaspoons per day, usually more. That's why so many of us will have type 2 diabetes. That's why we have so many problems with heart disease, obesity, and also sugar is really bad for your gut and the microbiome. So what I want to do is walk around the grocery store. And yes, we know there's sugar sugar in ice creams and sweet treats, but there's also sugar in stuff you might not imagine, like your favorite protein bar, your favorite peanut butter, your favorite milk, your favorite oatmeal. So I'm going to show you how to avoid it, how to replace with a better for you option and why exactly it's so bad because sugar is a national pandemic in my opinion, and we have to avoid putting so much on our bodies. So less talking, more shopping. Let's walk around the grocery store. Salad dressing can be a trap. I'm talking about the added sugar can be super high. And just because you're here at a premium grocery store like Whole Foods doesn't mean it's going to be healthy necessarily. For instance, Thousand Island. I love Thousand Island. Organic, it's healthy. Boom, I'm buying it. Well, look at the added sugar here. You're talking about five grams of added sugar per two tablespoons. And nobody is just using two tablespoons. So in two tablespoons, you have a teaspoon and a quarter of cane sugar in there. Probably the worst offender I've ever seen at the grocery store is this. This is a bottle of strawberry vinaigrette dressing here. First of all, the first ingredient is sugar. The main oil is GMO, highly processed inflammatory canola oil. But a whopping nine grams of added sugar per two tablespoons. In other words, every two tablespoons has two and a quarter teaspoons of sugar. That is crazy. This is basically liquid dessert for your salad. Totally loco. Um, you guys know my favorites. I love Primal Kitchen. I love Chosen Foods. That was actually on sale last week. You can find them cheaper on Thrive Market or Walmart. One of the funniest things I've seen though is this is a new player in the dressing and marinade. This is California Olive Ranch here. They're known for their olive oil, which is actually good. The California based one is good. I'm not a huge fan of the blended one from other countries. It's an olive oil company using sunflower oil as their main ingredient. Processed inflammatory free radical related sunflower oil for an olive oil company? Things that make you go, hmm? You're eating oatmeal for breakfast. You're being healthy. It's high in fiber. It keeps you regular. It's good stuff. Well, that's true if it's just regular oats or unflavored oats. I prefer steel cut. There's even more nutrition if you're going to eat oats. But anytime you come, to these pre-made flavored ones, look out below my friends because even premium brands like Bob's Red Mill, apple cinnamon sounds lovely, but look at the ingredients. Yes, there's cane sugar. How much added? We got nine grams of added sugar for this serving here. Nine grams is two and a quarter teaspoons. Just imagine how much that is in one serving, way too much. You took what was a healthy breakfast and just made it quasi dessert. It makes me wanna cry, just like that kid right there. Now, we, could, like, we come down to here, this kind once again, they make protein oatmeal, and you're like, ooh, 10 grams of protein, I'm sold. Well, I guarantee, just like those bars, the source of protein is the soy protein, which is the cheapest form of protein you can get, and cane sugar here, nine grams per. So once again, two and a quarter, you gotta read the ingredients. You don't want that. If, or, or, there we go, if you're gonna get something, Sweeten it yourself at home with maple syrup or honey. Or this, ooh, this is one of the best. And I guess people don't want it because of last chance. These are pre-made and these are actually unbelievably Bobby approved. It's gluten-free organic oats, organic raspberries, which are on the dirty dozen, it's huge. The only sweetener is coconut sugar, the paleo lower glycemic sweetener to the tune of four grams. This is fantastic. I, honestly, if you're an oatmeal eater, I would buy all that. That's a great deal, or I believe they make them in uh, little pouches like that. But plain is best. If you're going to get flavored, look out, my friends. With all this talk about sugar being bad for the gut, I wanted to wander over to the supplements aisle. And while I don't buy a probiotic at the store, you guys know how I feel about this. This is seed probiotic. It's actually a prebiotic probiotic. And in my opinion, if you take a probiotic or you're interested in one, seed is the most effective on the market. And knowing how much sugar we consume and how 
honestly devastating that is for our gut, I think a probiotic is a must. Even me and Desi and Rose, who has a gut-friendly diet, you want a probiotic because probiotics make it to your colon and then feed them with good bacteria. I'm talking about like billions of bacteria. And the problem is most probiotics you buy at the store or, or, or online, they don't work. They die in your stomach acids, but seed is one of the few that works and works well because the outer capsule is the only thing that dissolves in your tummy and the inner capsule actually makes it through your intestine to your colon to deliver 24 strains of bacteria that are clinically proven to work for digestion, uh, constipation, bowel movements, immune health, skin health, and they just came out with a pediatric one that's good for kids three to 17, and Rose started taking it this month because she turned three a couple weeks ago. So if you're in the market, my promo code always works. Click my link down below. It's 15% off your first month supply free shipping, but they have international flat rate shipping too, and it's 30 days risk-free. Seed works. I've turned on so many fans, so many family members, so many friends to it. Everyone loves it. If you're in the market, check them out. They are great. Now, Whole Foods does have a better for you cereal aisle, but still, 90% of them are to be avoided. Even when you think you're buying something healthy for your kids, organic Cascadian Farm Puffs. This is like a healthy version of, I don't know what that generic brand would be, but we look what's going on here. There's 11 grams of added sugar per cup and a quarter. That's a big serving size, but still 11 grams is just shy of three teaspoons of cane sugar. I don't care, it's organic. It's still cane sugar to be avoided. You also have the sunflower oil. Yes, it's organic, but it's still processed and inflammatory. And you have natural flavor there too. So is it better than, you know, uh, Reese's peanut butter puffs? Yes, but it's still to be avoided in my opinion. A lot of people go for something like Kashi Go because it has the protein, but I think people are driven to 12 grams of fiber is a whopping amount for cereal. I call this colon blow, like the uh, SNL character or the SNL uh, skit back in the day, and it's gonna clean you out. But even though it has all those good stuff, it still has seven grams of sugar per cup and a quarter, and it's coming from cane syrup. Oh, look at this, they're still using soy flour in here and soy protein concentrate why do they keep using soy protein why do they keep using sunflower oil what does mr wonderful say on shark tank money it's so darn cheap so yes it has the fiber but it has the sugar it has the soy protein put it back for my money for you and for your kids this is actually the cereal i eat for dessert i don't eat uh, cereal for breakfast by the way we had it last night for a dessert while watching the season ender of tehran the second episode second season on apple oh that's a great show i was crunching away on this give this to your kids have this in the morning if you eat cereal or for dessert this is paleo cocoa cereal look at those ingredients no cruddy oils coconut oil no refined sugar dates and coconut sugar but one cup has only one gram of sugar and it has a sweet, rich, chocolatey flavor. And the berry one here too has a little more, five grams, but it's coming from maple syrup and those ingredients are epic. So just keep in mind, most cereals are garbage, but the sugar adds up. If you're gonna eat it, get something clean. You can't go wrong with seven sundaes. The classic American combo of peanut butter and jelly can have scary amounts of added sugar. And this is a brand right here. It looks like a farm stand brand. A lot of people buy it. This is one you want to avoid, in my opinion, because if you look what's going on here, this is probably one of the most egregious ones I've seen. A one tablespoon serving of this jam here has a whopping, what does that say? 12 grams of added sugar. My friends, 12 grams is three teaspoons. Three teaspoons is a tablespoon. So for a tablespoon of jam, there's a tablespoon of sugar, and you're not just using one tablespoon. That is crazy. One of my favorites to get are ones sweetened with fruit juice concentrate. And because berries are always on the dirty dozen, I like organic. Crofters in Canada, A, make organic fruit spread. And the sweetener is fruit juice concentrate. Another great one is around the pole right here, all the way from Italy. Buongiorno, strawberry. I just had this this morning, actually, on my keto bread with rose for breakfast. Sweetened with apple juice concentrate and an organic. And we're talking about one tablespoon only has five grams of added in the form of fruit juice concentrate as opposed to 12 grams. So that's great. I do want to give some love to this poll's in a really bad spot. This, this is new. People have been scanning with the Bobby Approved app. Make sure to download the Bobby Approved app, scan away at the grocery store. It tells you if any product 
food, personal care, or household. Is Bobby approved or not? And gives you a better alternative if it's not. But this, Chia Smash, what an interesting idea. So no refined sugar added. How do they do this? Organic upcycled strawberries. We'll talk about what upcycled means. Organic date as the sweetener. And ch 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 chia, the magical seed that grows. But we're talking about uh, one tablespoon only has two grams of sweetener in the form of date. That is amazing. And the same thing is true for blueberry and raspberry. But upcycled, I think it says right here, are berries that, here we go, are imperfect or bruised or blemished. And they turn it into organic uh, jam sweetened with dates that's super cool so look for those kind of things and avoid those certain things in uh, jam and jelly and when it comes to uh, nut butters here um, just avoid ones that have any sugar and a lot of the premium brands like this always have two ingredients i hate sugar and palm oil and even though it's only one gram of added sugar that's too much in my opinion and the palm oil is terrible for you and terrible for the environment and then this one here says it's honey sweetened and this is another brand that also adds the palm oil. But sure, honey's there. But they're also adding cane sugar, which is terribly deceptive. So three grams, I'm guessing maybe uh, two of that is honey, one gram of sugar. When it comes to peanut butter and jam, uh, peanut butter and nut butters, just nuts and salt, that's it. When it comes to yogurt, keep in mind it's always gonna have some sugar because there's natural sugar in the form of lactose in milk. It's the added sugar I always warn about, and some can add up quickly. And when you think you're not getting an added sugar one, you're wrong, because a lot of people get vanilla. They're like, oh, that's not sweet, and that's just vanilla bean. Well, sometimes it's vanilla bean, sometimes it's natural flavors, but it always has sugar. And this one has, boom, nine grams of added, it's gotta be cane sugar, boom, cane sugar per little cup here, nine grams is once again, two and a quarter teaspoons in something that's supposed to be gut friendly. And yes, the yogurt has living bacteria, but when you put that amount of sugar in there, the sugar actually kills your good gut bacteria and feeds the bad one. It's the opposite effect here. So put that down. Some people ask me about this, and it's not quite Bobby approved, but I love the fact that instead of putting sugar in here, they use stevia, and it's actually non-GMO milk, which is unheard of, but, it has natural flavors, so it's not technically Bobby approved, but it is a better for you choice available at most grocery stores. And then some people grab Siggy's over here. It's the same thing. Yes, it's vanilla, but when you're talking about five grams of added sugar, it's less, but it's still a teaspoon and a quarter. When it comes to yogurt, you have to, in my opinion, get unsweetened. And if you're looking for the best brands out there, look for grass fed like this, Maple Hill grass-fed and whole milk. This is a great one, a Bulgarian A2 grass-fed yogurt here. It's important also to get whole milk. You don't want low-fat dairy. In the fat is omega-3 fatty acids. When you have whole fat, organic, and grass-fed, you can't go wrong with that. All right, family, that is it from my second home, the grocery store. Uh, sugar, it's everywhere, but I hope I showed you how you can maybe avoid it or swap it out with better for you options, ones that have maple syrup, ones that have coconut sugar, and open up your eyes to the fact that they put it in everything, including healthy items that you don't know. And that's why so many of us are eating excessive sugar to the fact that one out of three of us will have type two diabetes in just 20 or 30 years. So that's it. I'm gonna do some shopping, head home, make some uh, dinner for the family, but I will see you soon. As always, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.